Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profit Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning REST API development in PHP. This is our part 7. Inside this video session guys, we will make API for list data API method. In the last video session guys, we had seen about that how can we create our data via this API called create.php. So this is the scene actually we had discussed inside last video. If you back to go to detail, now this is the file that we have developed called create.php. Inside that video, we had included our headers or we had done all the settings by the help of these settings actually we had inserted our data inside our database table. Now this time, inside this video, we have now data inside this tbl underscore students table. Now we want to make an API and by the help of that API actually we are going to read all the data or let's say we are going to access all the data from this table. So if we back to code editor, now let's say for read all the data we have a file called listall.php. Now this is the file. Inside this file actually we have to develop our code. So if I go inside this create.php and copy all the code and paste inside this file only we have to remove if I remove all the sections from the last and something like here and inside this file right now we have about the headers part as well as we had included two files called database and a student these are the two important files and for the database this is the connectivity we have made and for the student this is the object we have created but inside this file actually we had to change inside these headers and the headers is that we are just going to remove this second header function and also we are going to change about the gate request type so access control allow methods and this is only for the gate request type so again back here now what basically we are going to do inside this file we are going to make a method inside this student.php that method actually takes all the data or let's say fetch all the data from table and return to this file and this file basically dump all the data and get all the record inside this postman. So if I back to code editor, now go inside this file called student.php and inside this file let's create that method first. So here let's read all data and now here let's say that public something function get all data and this method basically returns all the data from our database table. So inside this method if I write let's say SQL underscore query this is a simple variable and inside this let's say select start from and the table name we have inside the variable if we go at the top and this variable basically contains about the table name. So copy that go inside that method and let's say that this arrow operator and let's say table underscore name. Now finally we have to execute this query. So let's say this connection variable and we have prepare method and inside this prepare method actually we are going to pass this variable. So pass it here. So after making prepare a statement so here we are making prepare a statement and we are going to actually store inside let's say st like something is standard object this is the object we have made and finally we are going to execute that so here let's say that execute query and we are going to execute that so this should be something standard object and here we have a method called execute this is a user defined object name you can just specify any name according to your use so this is what basically we are executing so after execution we are going to return our results to so return let's say standard object and we have a method called get underscore result this returns all the data what basically we get from this table name so finally we need to call this method to our view file so go to list all dot php this is our most important api file and now here firstly we need to check that this file should be accessed only for the get request type so for that 
we have to use called the PHP global variable so this should be server and inside that request method and this should be we have called get request type now inside this block otherwise we have to make a else block inside this let's say HTTP response code and here we have to pass something let's say 503 this is for service let's say service unavailable so this should be un available and here we are going to return called echo json encode and inside this let's say array and this should be something status let's say status it should be status and value 0 and the message we have called let's say access denied now inside this block it means we have get request type now inside this block actually we are going to call our method and the method we have made called get all data so go inside this file and by the help of this student object as we know that this is the student object of this class file so by the help of this object actually we can call that method so copy this object so here is student and the method we have called get all data so pasting it here and finally we are going to actually store all the data inside this variable now if I make something print R to dump all the data save all these changes back to browser now if I open about the URL so back here and if I copy the name called REST API PHP about the project folder name back to browser and if I directly open that URL to our browser it means that we are going to hit about get request type now pressing enter go inside v1 and we have a file called list all.php now here inside this file as we can see that it returns about mysqli object and this result basically returned by that variable what we have written inside this print r uh, so inside here we have a property called num rows inside this num rows we have four it means that we have four rows inside our table so back to code editor now get rid of that now let's say that if data and the property called num rows and it should be greater than zero it means we have records so let's say we have some data inside table now finally we have to iterate or loop over all the data and print and store and get output so for iterating we are going to use called the while loop so let's say while loop so before while loop let's say that our student array so let's say students and this should be array and right now this is empty because we are going to iterate over each record and store inside this array and now this array contains a key something called let's say records so if I write while loop so this would be while now inside this while let's say row and we have data variables so copy that and pasting it here and we are going to use called fetch associative now this is one of the function and this function returns all the data inside or array format so what actually I mean to say if I write something let's say print R and inside this if I write only row to print all the data what we are getting inside this row variable so save all these changes back to browser open a new tab and if I reload this page Control U to get the source code now as we can see that fetch associative function it means that this is the function converted each and every record what we are reading inside this table and converted each inside an array each array contains ID name email mobile and each of the key as the column name we have inside this table but let's say that if we change about the method name something with fetch array and save all these changes back to browser reload this page now as we can see that itself index also has a unique key column id its position as at 1 and its value equal to 1 the name value is at 1 and its value equal to Sanjay 
email column is at two position and this is the value so this is what we are getting by using called fetch array and this is what we are getting by using fetch associative now if we back again to creator and if we change about fetch object now same it converts about object format instead of array so if we reload this page now as you can see that each record converted inside an object format instead of using array format so we are going to use call fetch associative so let's say fetch asoc and here I am to use call the variable what we have called students so copy that and I am going to use one of the PHP function called array push and inside this this is our first array means this is the array where actually we are going to push our data and this is array and let's say that the first value we are going to push called id and id we are getting inside this array and here we have id column and if i copy and paste so this should be something less than name we are getting inside this name if we change about email say let's say email if we have called mobile and if we check about the column name in our table so we have called mobile so this should be something mobile and finally we have called status so this should be status and status so all the columns we are reading from this variable row and storing inside each of the key and pushing all the data inside this array and finally we have one more column something called created at and let's say that we are going to convert this date time means this date time actually according to our need so let's say that y m d alice str to time and inside this we are going to write if i copy this row status pasting it here and the column name we have if we go here copy this column name and pasting it here so finally all we have done now we have stored each data inside this records variable so after while loop and here while loop ends so after while loop let's say http response code and we have called 200 value and this is for ok status and finally let's say echo json encode and let's say inside this we are going to declare our array variable and the status equal to 1 and let's say data and all we are going to store this created or let's say student records so copy that and pasting it here now if we save all these changes back to browser reload this page now we have some error so how can we detect about the error so if we go back inside this file and if I make about the debugger on so let's ini set and something let's say display errors equal to 1 we are setting about displaying error flag 1 save all these changes back to browser reload this page now this is the error so we have called to undefined function str to time so we have some spelling mistake go here and this is something str to time now it's fine so if we save all these changes back to browser reload this page now we have json format data so finally we have developed our api which basically returns all the data from our database table so back to postman open a new tab here we need to type the url so this is the url to list all the data and get request type if we click on send button now as we can see that if we change about the JSON so this is the JSON called status and the data inside data array we have each data as we can see that so if we change about request type called post hitting send button now access denied obviously because we have made this API for the get request type so successfully guys by this by the help of this video session actually we have made the api to read all the data what we have saved inside our previous video by using this create.php file so if you have any doubt inside this video session guys then please drop your comment i will leave my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day